What's going on guys, Nick Hellman aka The Crypto Hitman, wanted to talk quickly about Pulse Chain and the bounce we are seeing. It is bouncing right off a of support level and a level you will understand, so let's jump right into it. All right, we see today Pulse up 9.3%, Pulsex outperforming to the upside like expected up 11.8%, INC up 17.6%, and HEX still green at plus 397 People are fearing the drop, but look at the 30-day. Pulse still up 80%. Pulse X up 145. INC 285. This enhances the APR of the farms, by the way, folks. And HEX up 61.8%. But let's look in the chart here. Unfortunately, I lost all the drawings I had, so I need to go to my video and rewrite that. But that's okay, because it kind of clears things up for this discussion. We do notice that the bounce, where did it occur, guys? Right here at the pre-SEC level. Okay? If we drop further... If you're not in Pulse Chain, if you're trying to DCA, the hold your breath, close your eyes, and just buy, whether it's Pulse, Pulse X, INC, Hex, whatever, would be a backup here. Why? This is the post-SEC resistance. Resistance here, 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 here. We broke through it, and we bounced back to it, flipping that resistance into support here. So if we get down into this level, you do not want to see it go below there. Otherwise, we get bearish once again. We fall back into this bearish range. Also, that makes the chart look supremely sloppy. I don't think Richard Hart or the God Whale or whoever it is will allow that to happen. What do I think the bullish outlook is since we held the SEC support? This is what I think it is. I think you have potential using FIB levels and some Elliott Wave. I don't want this one here. Let's, we need the Elliott Wave Impulse Wave. This could be from the lows, a 1, a 2, a 3. We completed the 4 on top of the SEC and we get a 5 up to this range. This is the 618 of the wave 3. This is the 618 of the wave uh, 023. So it could be somewhere in that range. Let's go ahead and just put it here for now. Somewhere between 2000 to 2200 makes sense to me. Um, and why I think that this usually wave 3 is your impulse wave. But why wave 5 can be comparable or a little more extended than wave 3 is because this could be a leading diagonal leading to this bigger trajectory. And what I mean by this is you could add subwaves within here. So a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for your subwaves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for your subwaves for a leading diagonal, meaning that this is a 1, this 4 is a big 2, which means that this would be the most impulsive. So this would be a wave 5 of a 3 of a 5. Does that make sense? Do I need to show that to you guys here? Could be something like this. Why is this so sloppy? Uh, maybe there's a subwave in here that I can use. I'm just going to have to decipher it a different color, I believe, for you guys. So that's a five, but that makes a big one, okay? If this is a leading diagonal. So that's really a big one here. That means that you're going to have subwaves here, whatever that is, one, two, three, four, five. This is a four of this count, but this would be a big two. And with that leading diagonal and this being a big two, that means this is going to be a three, which should be your most explosive wave of the wave count. So this five of three. Three. You work in here, back down for a four. But this 4, you would want to hold above this previous initial wave here. So maybe that's somewhere in here. Another whale dumps on you. People see the exhaustion. They see a bearish divergence, whatever it is. And then, of course, that means you have the wave 5, true wave 5, coming up here. And maybe that correlates, correlates with these previous highs. Because you know you're going to receive resistance up there. Somewhere around 25, 26, maybe a 28, depending on how we extend out. That's why I think that the low we just made could be very important. 